Hello influencers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching me. Welcome to another interesting edition of No Host Bad with IT. My name is Itunu. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the house. Yeah, the Lord will make you fathers indeed. Yes, everything you need to be a father, you know, God will provide it for you. And those of us who doesn't have father, because I don't have one, but then I have a heavenly father that is more than any earthly father. So if you are in the same club with me that are fatherless, okay, maybe maybe I should go to a fatherless baby's home. <laughs> don't mind me. To those of us who are in the same club, fatherless people, hey, trust me, we have a father. That is more than hardly father. Let's just hold on to him. Congratulations to all fathers and fathers to be. The Lord will continue to empower. So today I'm going to be talking about PVC, PVC, no church, no PVC, no church. You don't bring your PVC. You don't come to church. And then I saw a video. I said I will come. I must come and share it with my people. A pastor practically told these members, "Look, protect yourself, chicken." Up. Not with gun. Traditionally. Really? Okay. I'll show you the videos. Okay, before them, whew, I can't stress it enough, the importance of you subscribing to this channel. Let's roll together so that we can, you know, come on, let's do it. Thank you so much. So I saw this video. I say, okay, let me share with you. I I, I want to ask today, do, with, will PVC work in Nigeria as it were? Yeah, because there are a lot of things that is wrong <laughs> in Nigeria. A basic one is the constitution. I'm going to talk about it a little bit today. I've talked about it in the past and I will still, you know, say something about it today. But I want you to see this video. I, I know you may have seen it where a father say, okay, without uh, PVC, you can't come to service. Let's hear him. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Morning. As I told you last week, today, if you do not have your PVC with you, you will not attend mass here today. It's as serious as that. When I said it, some of you you took it for granted as if we are joking. And as you know, the federal government has given deadline that at the end of this month, the registration will stop. And we have already discussed this with the school management, that any student who does not have his or her PVC will automatically have carryover. Yes, and beginning from today, if you do not have your PVC, you cannot enter this chapel today and celebrate Mass with us. It's as serious as that. And, and for those of you coming from Just Archdiocese, you must have known that it is said in Just Archdiocese that if you do not have your PVC, you cannot receive communion. But here we know not everybody is a communicant. So what we'll do is from today, if you don't, if you are coming for Mass, Carry your PVC. If you don't have your PVC, don't bother coming. Because there is no point having Christians fill the church. But during election, we have only a handful of them go out to vote. So it means our number, our population means nothing. So we want Christians to take their responsibility and their role seriously. So today, I am serious about it. As I'm standing here, if you have your PVC, begin to come in. But if you don't have your PVC, find your way back home. You will not attend mass here today. Is that clear? Yes. Cross with your PVC. Oh yeah, begin to come in. Oh yeah. Those who don't have their PVC, you begin to go back. I'm serious about it. Uh -huh. Okay, so you saw that. I know you must have seen it, but then I want to bring out some things, you know. Okay, no PVC, no church. Okay, fine. No PVC, then you have carryover. Okay, so if I write an exam, if I wrote an exam like that, it will really depend on me having PVC 
Like I asked earlier on, does PVC really work in Nigeria? Before the APC primaries, we hear we had what Tinubu was ranting about, how he helped people. This it was nothing to a governor. Dakbo. This one that's sitting behind me, Dakbo. If not because of me, he will not be a governor. And I'm asking, how many votes does a man has in Nigeria? How many votes does uh do do people have? Tinubu, for instance, how many, how many votes does he have? So that will tell you that. Nigeria election is not about PVC. It's not about people voting. Do your voting count? Your votes, do they count? That's what matters. The way Nigeria is being run, let me let us know today that it's not the fault of those running it. It's not the fault of individuals. What has happened over the years is that we've been governed by a state without law, without constitution. The 1999 constitution is a scam. There are a lot of lacuna in the constitution. Lacuna means unfilled gaps, unfilled spaces. They left a lot of things hanging. So we are neither here nor there. Let me tell us this. Countries that works is not because of the individuals that are running the country. Is because there are laws in place. You had some time, some months back, the Prime Minister of Britain, he was said to have held a party when they said no, no party because of the corona situation. He, he narrowly got, got um, impeached. Narrowly. And even now, he has not even, it is not yet rule for him because they are saying that, okay, after a year, they can still visit it. They have a law. There is guidelines. There is constitution. The Nigeria has one. That's, that's a lot of time. Um, I'm so, uh, that's the, my grouse with somebody like Obasanjo, for instance. He was, he, he was uh, also rock occupant for eight years. Obasanjo knew how to lobby the legislators in Nigeria. He knew, he knew how to get at them. I don't know how he did it, but he knew how to get what he wanted from them. And he did. The only thing he could not make them do, because of a lot of opera, was the amendment of the constitution to make him run a third time. time. That, was, that was his um, plan that time. So why didn't Obasanjo get this 1999 constitution amended, clean up? So that we have something solid. In the US, for instance, I was talking to someone on the phone. You, a senator cannot collect a gift that is over $25. I'm not saying they don't have their own issues. They have their own level of corruption. Their own corruption is systematic. I'm not talking about it here today. We might visit it sometimes. Now, if a senator does, any, does anything for you, do any good, Okay, you want to appreciate him. You can't give him a you can't collect something that is more than $25. If it's up over that, it's fraud. They say you want to influence him somehow. So if we don't let me tell us this everywhere, all over the world, human beings are the same. White, yellow, black, brown. We are the same. Everywhere. We have the same. Uh, DNA, we, we operate the same way. We forget about the color of our skin. We think the same way. Nobody wants to obey the law if it is not enforced. Enforcement of laws is what make countries in the West and elsewhere work. I, for, for speed, uh, for speed violation, I got, I've said it on the channel before, I got two tickets in quick succession in Washington, D.C. And a ticket is $150. If you don't pay in 30 days, it's $300. In another 30 days, begin to multiply like that. So we have people who had um, a, a $150 ticket. At the end of the day, they are paying $3,000 and they will pay. I mean, I mean, you will pay. 
So after the second ticket, no police will stop you. The traps are there. They call them speed traps. You take your photo, photo, photo of your plate number every the time, the second, everything. They mail it to you at home. There is no deceit in photo. My people will say, as you stand, <laughs> that's how you will come out. So you will say, this is not my car. Your, your, your car registration, everything is linked to a database. So they know where you are. They know where you stay. The same, the same ticket, the same amount I will get me that I'm here is the same amount any other person will get. After the second the ticket, I, I did a conference with myself. Yes. I, me and myself, we had the talk. I said, do you want to continue like this? 150 people. So <laughs> I got, I got, I, 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 I borrowed myself brain. So there are laws. That's what I'm trying to say. There are rules. There are enforcement. If nothing like that is put in place in Nigeria, if our constitution still remain hanging as it were, anybody that occupies Aso Villa cannot function. Yes. If there is, it's not about PVC. If to know everywhere in the world, there politics is election is being done. All right, everywhere, they have godfathers. They have people who endorse them. But the question is that the person who endorsed me in the U.S. know that he only has a vote, one vote. So endorsing somebody to be governor or whatever, does it translate that the person will win? If not for other things they do. Using thugs, carrying ballot uh, boxes. I don't know if you are aware, your, your lawmakers, they rejected electronic voting in Nigeria. This is 2022. They say, no, Nigeria is not yet ripe for electronic voting. Uh, giants of Africa. Uh, yeah. Okay. In, in the US, vote goes on throughout the week. You go to your nobody even nobody will even notice that anything was going on. Except your monitoring it. We are aware that okay, there's election. You go to your work during your break time, you walk into wherever vote, you vote online. Nobody is stressed for God's sake. But because of the corruption in Nigeria because they want to continue to be corrupted. They will not allow the constitution to work. They will keep it the way it is hanging. They will not amend it. Your lawmakers are there. They, are, they will not do anything about it because they want to continue the way they are. Let me show you the second video, a pastor. Now, when uh, Sunday Boho went to, before he was arrested and all that, when he, he went to Lagos, I did a video that time. And traditional uh people traditional uh, people came out to i'm going to put the link to that video here to uh, identify with him i did a video i said are we going back to stone age are we going to the days of uh, charm 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 yeah so now that was sunday but a pastor came out and i said hey he told his congregation protect yourself this is he said he, he delivered that in europe but there will that was a uh, translator there. So I want you to watch it and I'm going to talk about it a little bit and then I will, fathers, send me my gift, I'm your daughter. Don't forget, don't, I mean, I will take it, all right? Okay, let's, let's hear this. What did you do? You already know you are in a large What have you, what precautions have you taken? Above, above, see Nigeria, where Louis born. Don't you know we are infested with God? We are in a God pandemic. Eh? Oh, money. Don't you know? Oh, my God, why don't you born? Don't you know the shoots at will every oh, time? Oh, people go out, they pay on, they buy on it. Don't you read the stories that I you know what, say, that the what did you do? What have you done to protect yourself? Okay, what well, I mean? Look at the army. Oh, they are going. They are not their gone. They also go to the war. They will wear their bulletproof vest. They will wear their vest. They will wear all their armored vests. Everything is filled up with armor. They shoot them. They do not enter. They do not enter. They do not enter. So what you must pay? It be ball and one law. Because they know they are going to the war zone. It will come from far away. You, 
You know you are. Kilo shade. Kilo What have you done to protect yourself? If you are eaten by a shade, you are eaten by a shade. If you do it and it does not work, that's it. But oh, what shade are you? Oh, you are the Lord who made the angel. Now say God will protect you. I will tell you. Oh, you are the Lord who Jesus will not take by you in church today. That they will kill people in the house of God, in the presence of God, in the presence of Jesus. Nothing will happen. Kill or throw him away. Just stay there. Don't take care of yourself. Don't take care of yourself. When you take care of yourself, that is when God will take care of you. <laughs> so this man is saying, in summary, heaven help those who help themselves. He says, <laughs> "Oh my God, what? How, how did we get here? How?" So he's saying that, okay, go and do things to. In fact, there, there's a place that he said, if you have some, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to bore you with long videos. He said, was, at the end, towards the end of that, he said, if you have something that you can bury in your house, so that these people, will, they will not come and go butcher you in your house, go and bury it. He's telling, he's telling the congregation, go and look for protection for yourselves. Protection in, the, in, in terms of, go and do charm. Yeah, go to yeah, yeah, Habalis, go and do charm from a church, from a past coming from a pastor. This scares me. And I'm like, okay, so why do we go to church? God is no longer enough. He said in that video that okay, Jesus was there. God was there when they were killing people in the church. Hmm. I've done a video before, and I call, I said it to this week. I call out pastors in Nigeria. I call out mega pastors. I said, if you keep quiet the way you keep you, the way you are quiet now, <laughs> there will be that it it will get to a stage people will not be able to to worship. People will not be able to come to church. I said it again last week. I did that video specifically for. For that purpose, I call out Pastor Adeboye, I call out uh, Bishop Boye Depo, I call out a lot of them. Uh, there's a saying that silence means consent. So if you are not comfortable with what they are, what is happening, then you must speak out. A church, pa a pastor, and I say, go and protect yourself. Go and do charm. So where are we going, people? Let me know your thought. I don't want to do my videos. All right, people. Thank you so much. To, uh, to On Tuesday, uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, the the business I've been introducing to you. you are, please contact me if you have seen that video. I have, uh, I, I have another channel where I discuss the health uh, aspect of it specifically. I'm going to put it the... the I was be directing to that link, to that channel, okay? Okay, people, thank you so much. Let me know your thoughts in this video. Should people go and do charm to protect themselves that God is no longer enough? And um, let me know, it does, will PVC carry any weight in this election? Mm -hmm. So, fathers in the house, send my gift to your daughter. All right, people. Thank you so much. My name is Itunu. I'll see you tomorrow or next. I love you like mm, no man's business. Bye.